and that he was going to be starting a new channel devoted completely to the promotion of Christianity and his faith. Look at Logan Paul shaking his head as if he was not one of the ones who caused Gideon to do this. No, <laughs> Logan, no, Brett, 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 I gotta, I gotta stop you there, Brett. I gotta stop you there. <laughs> Gotta stop you there. Logan is nowhere close to the reason why I decided to give my life fully over to Christ. Nowhere, 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 not 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 even peeping through the window close. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Oh yeah, that's so sick. Yet yeah, you were just ridiculing him for his beliefs. Breaking. Bro, if anything, Logan was confirming what the Bible says. Uh let's pull this up real quick. Asala sent me this video a while ago. Uh, do any of you guys know a person by the name of Brett Cooper? This yes, 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 yes. So she put me in a thumbnail like a week ago, and it's called a video called Logan Paul Ridicules Christianity. And I'm not sure what she was going at, but he was telling me like, you know, to look at this and stuff. So I just want to look at the part where she's talking about me. I don't want to watch the whole thing, but we'll just get into it. Another huge example of somebody sticking with their morals online is the creator Gideon. And his story actually also starts with Logan making fun of him on his podcast. Now, Gideon had not really been too outspoken about his faith or his beliefs in the past, but he got questioned about his faith while on Logan's podcast. And this is what happened. So you believe in God because he got you subscribers? No, I believe in God because of just what he's done in my life. Got you subscribers? Not even that, no, it's just, <laughs> I was in a very dark place. Like, I did not know where I was gonna go. Like, I was stuck. I was, I was like, neck deep in mud. Yo, chat, isn't this crazy? I'm over here talking about the most high, our Lord and savior, and I'm wearing a professional Raw Darker shirt. And people were giving me so much props for this interview. Yo, man, bro, great job talking about the faith, bro. Oh, man, bro, I got so much respect for you. And it's just like, you know, I'm getting congratulated for the bare minimum, man. <laughs> like being honest, like the bare minimum I'm getting congratulated for. And I always think about that, man. Like we need to stop congratulating people for the bare minimum. We really have to. But, and I got pulled out and I give all praises to him because I feel like whenever I don't put him first, that's when the most shit in my life happens. And it's so easy when like everything's going good. It's a blessing you could see that, bro. It's yeah. such a blessing you can see. You don't think you had anything to do with pulling yourself out of the mud? There's only so much you can do. There's some things, like, I'm pretty sure even in your career, you're just like, how did I do this? You know, the, 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 human, the human body and mind can only do so much. There's some things where it's just like, there's some situations that just happen. It's just, it can't be by chance. It can't just be, you know, coincidental. It never ceases to amaze me how disinterested Logan is about other people's experiences in their faith. Like they're not asking him to convert or change. They're just sharing their stories and their experiences. And he is so set on making them look ridiculous and cheapening them. Like this man is talking about his experiences and all the good things that have happened in his life and this massive change. And Logan is boiling it down to subscribers. I've got you subscribers. That's well, I mean, you know, f to the spiritual mind, that's how it sounds. You know what I mean? Like, bro, a non-spiritual person, a person that doesn't get into the word of God, when you tell people about God, it's not going to make no sense to them. And we as Christians got to realize that. Now, was Logan going about it the wrong way? Yes, entirely. You know what I mean? <laughs> he was indeed going about it the wrong way. But what I'm getting at is just like, don't get frustrated whenever you try to spread the word of God and people don't understand it when it doesn't click to non-believers because the word of God is not for non-believers believe it or not. Like I know a lot of people say it's for non-believers. It's a guide to bring non-believers to it, but they're not going to understand it because they're not believers. You know, it, God's word is only revealed to those that believe. And like, like um, my favorite scripture is, you know, one person plants, one person. So uh, one person plants, the other person waters, but God gives the increase. Unless God gives the increase, you know, that person is not going to grow. It's not going to click to them. It's not going to click to them at all. So that's what you just have to have patience, you know, plant a seed. If it's not clicking for them, don't force it because it's not ever going to work. It's never, never, never going to work. If you try to force it down somebody, you have to let God give the increase. And then it's crazy because when they come back, they're like a whole different person. Like, 
Oh, I understand that. I understand that now. Like, bro, there'll be atheists out here to be like, I've read the entire Bible and um, I'm not impressed. Like, no, no, no wonder you're not impressed. You don't believe in anything. You don't believe in it. Why, why would you be impressed? Why would it make sense to you if you don't believe it? <laughs> Let's say, um, I'm trying to think of something for, as an example. I can't think of nothing as an example, but oh, you don't believe in it. So of course it's not going to make sense to you. And so don't waste your guys' time, man. Plant the seed, move on. Because there's somebody out there that has a humble spirit to them where they can first hear the word of God and it intrigues them and they want to learn more, you know? Don't cast your pearls among swine. That's not the only thing that matters in life. Yeah, Gideon has like 8 million subscribers on one of his YouTube channels, but I doubt that's the most important thing in his life. He's arguing that it's not the most. And you're sitting here like, oh yeah, it's just subscribers, right? Oh yeah, no, that couldn't have happened. No, you probably did. It's just let people speak, let them share their experiences before you jump down their throat trying to prove that everything they believe is wrong and incorrect and backwards. It's basic decency and respect to your guests and to your friends. Somebody commented and said, the way Logan is trying to downplay is crazy, LOL. Another person said, Gideon is very well spoken on this, utmost respect. Both of these men, even in the face of this guy that basically just wanted to troll them, they were so balanced. They were so level-headed. Yes, massive respect. And just like George, Gideon decided to fully dive into making content about what he believes in. In fact, 10 days ago, he posted a video on his main channel saying that that was going to be his last upload. He was starting a Christian channel and he was going to focus all of his efforts, all of his energy on that channel and sharing his experiences and talking about God. Massive YouTuber by the name of Gideon mm. announced two days ago yep. that the video that he was putting out was going to be his last video on his main channel and that he was going to be starting a new channel devoted completely to the promotion of Christianity and his faith. Look at Logan Paul shaking his head as if he was not one of the ones who caused Gideon to do this. <laughs> no, <laughs> Logan, no, Brett, 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 Brett. I gotta, I gotta stop you there, Brett. I gotta stop you there. <laughs> gotta stop you there. Logan is nowhere close to the reason why I decided to give my life fully over to Christ. Nowhere, 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 not, not, not even peeping through the window close. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah, that's so sick. Yeah, you were just ridiculing him for his beliefs. Breaking. Bro, if anything, Logan was confirming what the Bible says. Uh, let's pull this up real quick. Let's go to Luke chapter six, verse 22. Blessed are you when men shall hate you and when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. Rejoice you in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. So Logan was just literally fulfilling scripture. You know what I mean? Like he didn't force me or he didn't like, oh, you know what? I got to no. He was just reinforcing it. I was the dummy because I wasn't changing. You know, bro, I'm over here talking like, bro, I'm not even lying, man. I don't even blame Logan for like, be like, yeah, yeah, bro. I'm over here talking to Logan about God and I got a professional raw dogger shirt on. You know what I mean? Imagine someone came up to you. Let's say you're not a believer and you, you're someone's telling you about Jesus Christ and they got two prostitutes with them being like, yeah, man, you got to submit your life to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hey, yo, man, bro, you want to come to the, you want to go to the telly with us real quick, bro? You're going to be like, what? 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 Are, like, what? Alex, nah, I hate Logan. Hey, Alex, my man, you can't do that, bro. Why, why you hate it? Don't hate, man. Why are you going to have something that you dislike about somebody cost you your eternal life? You shouldn't hate nobody, brother. You should not hate nobody. If Jesus Christ literally forgave the people that had him murdered and killed on the day of Pentecost. So you're not better than Jesus, man. You're not better than Jesus, so and you never even met Logan, so you have really nothing to hate. News. It's I think a lot of people were looking at looking at that like this is so random. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> like oh man. Like you've never I've never seen any YouTuber at that size just go 
straight, you know, I want Crazy to pivot. put my whole life to the Lord. It's just wild to me how shocked they are that this happened, that this man that they know is a Christian and takes this very seriously. They're laughing about it. Oh, this is so crazy. Can you imagine? It's so random. Like, like it's, it's it, it is, bro. It was random. Chat, was this not random? It was random. I, I, I totally get the reaction. It shocked the world. And nobody, especially at my size, did anything like this. So, you know, for them to have that reaction, it's, it's nothing. It's, 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 it's totally reasonable. It is totally reasonable. There is nobody on God's green earth that thought I was going to be like, oh, you know what? I'm going to put away uh, 20 million plus followers to solely de dedicate my life to Jesus Christ. Nobody, I didn't even think it. So if I didn't think it, how could they think I think that? You know what I mean? Brett, let's say uh, Ben Shapiro or uh, Jordan Peterson say, you know what? I'm done with the Daily Wire. I just want to, you know, give my life over to Christ. You'll be like, that, that, that was random. You would say the same thing, Brett. So I, nothing wrong with, with the reaction at all. It's, it's that rare for somebody to, you know, leave behind their old ways and their brand and their content for something greater, something that is obviously more important to them. It is rare. It really is rare. You know what I mean? And in all honesty, I really didn't have to put it away the way I did. I just don't want to go back into my sin. I know myself. You know what I mean? I'm not saying every YouTuber needs to do what I did because they don't. But I just know myself. And like the lesson that we were just talking about lust, you don't look at stuff that will cause you to sin. If I look back at my old life too much, I'm gonna go right back into my old life. You don't even play with it. Like uh, I think it was uh, Psalms 108. Uh, David, King David said he hates, he hates, he won't even look at evil. He would not even look at it. He hates everything that's evil. So I have to do the same thing. I have to cut off I have to amputate whatever it is my lustful eye will cause me to sin. Sometimes lust isn't always, you know, sexual desire. Not always. And then Logan Ball just sitting there in his crime shirt is laughing his head off because obviously he is not pushed by anything greater other than purely, you know, fame and wealth. And the fact that this is the second example of this just gives me a ton of hope. And I love it because both of these men could have totally compromised their values, even just on Impulsive with Logan. They could have rolled over and said, yeah, you're right, I'm not gonna fight. They could have compromised their integrity to save those Impulsive episodes, to, you know, stay out of the fight, save their brand, stay in Logan's inner circle for the sake of fame and money, but they didn't. Well, I can't talk about the George situation, but me being on Logan's podcast, like it was no beef. Like, you know what I mean? Me talking about Jesus, it didn't cause no problems. It didn't cause no strife or nothing like that. Like it was, it was smooth sailing, you know, nothing, nothing happened. It was no ill will from Logan because I said I was a Christian. Nothing bad happened from that. I don't know what ha I, I genuinely don't know what happened in the um, George situation. I'm talking about from my situation by myself, like Logan didn't feel a type of way about me talking about my faith. I saw what he did say to George, though. That was pretty messed up what he said to George. But to me, no. And I guarantee they feel better for it because when you finally let go of the need to please and be accepted by people, ridiculous people, and you start pouring energy into the things that you believe and you're passionate about, the puzzle pieces start falling together in your life. Kind of like what Gideon was trying to explain to Logan in the first place. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Yeah, I mean, I kind of I, I, I see the route that Brett was going, um, but I, I just had to clear some of the air on that. No, Logan isn't the one that catapulted me into speeding up my faith with Jesus Christ. Um, you know, that was just Jesus working inside my heart. You know, the conviction I had inside of me was just too strong. But um, W video, nonetheless, man, you guys go give Brett a subscribe, a like, you know, hop in her comment section. You know what? I'm going to comment. say W. But yeah, 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 I've been meaning to react to that. Just hadn't gotten around to it. But you know what? I think it was all for a reason because um, that lust class, I think, gave me some better insight going into this.